What happens during a government shutdown? Do you get paid? Do you still get benefits? Will you be prepared? Let's talk about it. If you pay attention to the news, you know they are always talking about potential government shutdowns, partial shutdowns, and budget disputes. The first thing to understand is during a shutdown, as a federal government employee, your pay will likely stop. There will be two categories, essential workers and non-essential workers. And if you're a non-essential worker, you will be put on furlough. The good news is once that shutdown is lifted, you will receive that money. But that doesn't do a lot of good if you have bills, if you need that money now. The most recent shutdown was just a few years ago, and it lasted for over a month, between December 2018 and January 2019. So what does this mean? Many federal government employees were not paid for over a month. It is so important to have a savings built up in case of an emergency, and in this case, in case of a shutdown. You do not want to be put into that situation where you're relying on high interest credit cards or you're standing in line at a bank trying to get a loan just to make your ends meet. Now, if a government shutdown happens during the same pay cycle, so if it shuts down and they're able to resolve it in that same pay cycle, then you will not experience any interruptions to pay. And thankfully, the majority of government shutdowns have been relatively short but there's no guarantee that will stay true for the future. Okay, so what about leave? If you are furloughed, that time is still credited to you, but you have to wait for the shutdown to lift for you to actually see those leave days populate on your earning statement. The same is true with GS time and grade requirements and also the time that you're building up that counts towards retirement, that all will be credited as well. Also your insurance, health insurance, dental insurance, life insurance, you will still maintain coverage for you and your family. It's just that you have to catch up on the payments once the shutdown lifts. Okay, now what about if you're already on retirement and you're receiving payments? What happens to those? The good news is your retirement payments will not be interrupted by a shutdown. And this is because retirement payments are funded by a trust fund. So it comes out of a different pot of money. So you will still receive those. This is the case also with Social Security. If you're on Social Security and you receive a check, those will still keep coming in on normal cycle. But if you're in the process of filing for Social Security or filing for retirement benefits, then you're gonna have a problem because a lot of the human resource specialists and the individuals in HR that help process it, they won't be working. So you're gonna to have to wait until the shutdown lifts for them to come back to work so they can process your information to get you your retirement. Now, if you find yourself in a financial bind because of the government shutdown, you can always take a loan out on your TSP. Now, this isn't a great idea, but when it comes down to it, if you really need money, you might wanna look into this option. And speaking of the TSP, you will not be making contributions to your TSP until the government shutdown lifts. So you're gonna to have to make up all those back payments. Now, thankfully, even with the government shutdown, there are some parts that remain open and operational. For example, we will receive physical mail. The post office mail delivery, they will still come out to your house and drop your envelopes off. Another part that stays open is the VA medical treatment centers. Now, unfortunately, the VA hotline and a lot of the other VA services, they will shut down during a government shutdown. During the last few shutdowns, I was in the army and we received our pay, so there was no pause or gap in our pay. But there was talk of us having to show up at a certain point where we would not be getting paid, but we would still be required to put the uniform on and report to our appointed place of duty. Now, as you can imagine, there were a lot of soldiers that were getting frustrated saying, I'm not going, they're going to have to pay me. <laughs> but it didn't come down to that. Despite the length of a government shutdown, it can really create some serious harm such as interrupting federal programs, negative impacts to the economy, loss of overall productivity, and the damage to the recruitment and retention of quality federal government employees. Now, as you can imagine, a government shutdown is painful, not just for the government employees, but everybody else as well. And it's for this reason, a lot of people look at government work and they think what's gonna happen in the next shutdown. Maybe they're not so eager to apply for a government job. But there are some even bigger reasons why people want to quit their government job. And if you want to find out what those reasons are, I want you to watch this video next.
If you would like to see more videos like this, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.